I hope you are doing fabulously. In today's video, I wanted to share my top 10 blushes with you. And these are my all-time favorites, ones that I am constantly picking up and using, and they come from a variety of different price points. I have about four from the drugstore and six from the high-end side. Took me a minute to do the math in my head there, but I did it. <laughs> First blush I want to share with you is one that has become my most recent favorite and one that I have been picking up consistently lately. I demonstrated this one in a video very recently also. This is from Eve Pearl. It is her blush trio in the shade Sweet Cheeks. And the way that you apply this is you take the fan brush, you lightly dip it through all the colors one time and then sweep it onto the cheeks with a fan brush. And it's the most beautiful, subtle, natural looking color. I'm wearing it in today's video. It's an all around favorite, favorite, favorite. Our big panther says hi, by the way. Richard, how are you doing? Oh, you drooling all over me. What? You can sit there. Oh, we got catnip. Oh, we are happy getting drunk down there. Second favorite that I have to share with you is from Hard Candy, and this is in the shade Honeymoon. I would describe this as a peach shade with a subtle highlight mixed in, but a little bit of this goes a long way because if you apply too much, then you can just start disco balling it and it doesn't look natural. <laughs> but it's a beautiful color, especially on fair skin tones. Another favorite of mine is Max Tenderling, and this is the first blush that I ever purchased, and I've worn a big old hole in it simply because I love it so much. It's a light, neutral, dusty rose pink. It's very natural looking on the cheeks. It pairs so nicely with so many eyeshadow combinations and so many different makeup looks, which is what I love so much about this shade in particular. Yes, it's one of those must-have blushes. Next one I have to share with you is from NYX's line. This is one of their baked blushes in the shade Full On Femme. And this is a beautiful light pink. It does have an added highlight mixed in, very similar to the Hard Candy blush that I talked about earlier. It's so subtle, so pretty and natural looking on the cheeks and gives you a very romantic, fresh look. And this next blush is one that is rather harsh on my skin tone, so I have to use it sparingly. Needless to say, it's gonna last me for a long time. I'm never gonna have to replace this one. But if you have a medium complexion, darker complexion, this would be gorgeous on you. This is from MAC in the shade Breezy, and it's a cranberry shade. And what attracted me to it was the color right there. I mean, how do you not love this color? I love cranberry shades on the eyes, so it stands to reason that, of course, I had to have the blush. But like I said, a little bit of this goes a long way, but I really love the color against my skin. One of the first drugstore blushes I ever purchased is Milani's Luminoso. And I know this is one that has been so highly talked about on YouTube and everybody seems to love this blush. And I agree wholeheartedly. It's a beautiful color, a light peach with a little bit of shimmer mixed in. Excellent, excellent color. If you've been watching the videos religiously, then you already know that I'm a little bit obsessed with the Clinique Cheek Pop blushes simply because the color range is amazing. Pigmentation is superb with these. And how do you not love the packaging? It's so stinking cute. And the two shades that I have been head over heels in love with are Peach Pop and Ginger Pop. Now I ordered Ginger Pop in the blind. I didn't really know what to expect with that one, but I was pleasantly surprised by it. I thought it was gonna be too dark, and I do have to use it rather sparingly, but it's such a beautiful color on me. I love it. I love both of these. Drunk on catnip, passed out on the floor. I can't take you anywhere. Last blush I have to share with you is from NYX. What can I say? I love their cosmetics. Great quality, great pigmentation. Excellent price point, what more could you ask for? This is in the shade Apricot, and this is a peachy pink shade. Now this one is one that you cannot find in stores anymore, I know because I have looked. It's one that I actually had to order off of their website directly, but it's worth it. Very beautiful. And I gotta go clean inky drool off of my leg because, yep, it is still there. <laughs> and let me know what some of your favorite blushes are. We'd love to hear your top choices. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next time. 